Hey guys, and I've got a new video, which I haven't had for about two weeks now, so I'm back, and for good, and we're going to talk about three things, one of them is, the main one I'm going to talk about is World Cup, and before I get started, as you can see I'm a bit sunburnt, so you know, I'm not, I'm not just red all the time, on those, on my eyes, and it's a bit random, but yeah, um, yeah, first we talk about England, well, uh, I think it's our year this year, right? I, I tell, I've got reasons why as well. It's it's not people say it's our year every year, but this year's something different because we got. I, I know we didn't win it. Night World Cup nineteen ninety in Italy. We had players like Gary Lineker, Paul Gascoigne, um, and pla players like that. We got we got pla we got players exactly like that in our class. Harry, I'm not in our class. Sorry, <laughs> God. Um, well. What am I talking about? In our squad, we got Harry Harry Kane, exactly like Gary Lineker. He's better, if anything, he's probably better than Gary Lineker. No offence. We got Ruben Loftus-Cheek, fantastic centre mid. Fabian Delph. We got some three cracking goalkeepers, the three best goalkeepers in the league, in my opinion. So I, th I think we, if we don't win it, we'll get to the semi-finals or the final. But we'll we will do better than last year. God, I remember watching the Yosin game in Euro 2016, and I was thinking, is it, is it, I was thinking, oh, I went mental, because, to be fair, the difference between Gareth Southgate and Roy Hodgson, Gareth Southgate's picking players that deserve to be picked to go to the World Cup. No offence to Roy Hodgson, but he didn't do that. He picked, he, he picked countless players, like, and it, like in Euro twenty sixteen, he left out Michael Antonio, Mark Noble, Jermaine Defoe, who have all ju who had just come off the back of a fantastic season. For Antonio and Noble had a great season for West Ham, two thousand fifteen sixteen, and Defoe had a great season for Sunderland. This this season, well, I there's I debate that may people can debate that Welbeck couldn't have gone, but for his last. End of the season since February, really, he's been fantastic. So he deserves a place on that plane, really, because well, I would have Callum Wilson, maybe, but you know, I would have said Ashley Barnes because he had a good season, but he's Austrian. Peter Crouch, also, I would have taken to the World Cup. Tall striker, the, the, a player you really needs to take to the World Cup. He scores goals for fun for Stoke, really, if you're honest. Every time he's, he's on the pitch, he will score. It would most likely be from a header, but he's a good player. If they, if Stoke had to bring him on at the right time to play him a bit more, Stoke probably would have stayed up, and he and it would have been a big help to that. But you know, he's he's also quite an old player. No offense, he's also quite an older player. So you, I'm, I agree with the lineup. Um, I I would have Joe Hart. I probably would have taken. Take it. But to be fair though, as I said, Southgate pick, picking it on who's been good, for, brilliant for their clubs. Like, Pope's been fantastic for Burnley. Pickford's been fantastic for Everton. And Butland has been fantastic for Stoke since coming. He, he's had a few injuries and all that that recently as well. So they deserve to go. Gary Cahill, fantastic centre-back. He may have not had the best season this season, but it hasn't also been bad for him. And I think he can be... a a big, play a big, big role if you want to get World Cup glory in the summer. De definitely, Gary Cahill. We got good attacking options. We got good midfield options. If I'm honest, we got Henderson, Dyer. I, I like the formation Southgate plays. It's solid. But moving on, Pompey have signed loads of new signings, which I'm really happy about. The jacket is doing the good, solid transfer work and buying the players that will have experience in League One and will actually do. A, Will do us proud, and I think we we definitely can get promoted next season. If we don't, it will be very disappointing because we've signed a lot of players, and we're not we're not just wanting for a solid mid table finish. We we got a bit we got top half finish last season, which was a bit unexpected. But we 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 expect more this season. So players don't go thinking that you can get away with a mid table finish survival because we we're, we're not just wanting for that. We want championship. We want to be in the championship for 2019 to 20 season, or at least maybe like playoffs. We lose in the playoffs and then build. A, we we need. 
I'm not having another. I don't want to stay in League One for years and years. I want to get build the. We want to build. We want to be back in the Premier League or near the Premier League. We want to. We we belong in the Premier League. We're a big club. We got brilliant fans. Moving on, and Tottenham, fantastic. Well, <clears throat> like we 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 haven't really signed anyone, but you know we we seems like we're trying to get rid of dead wood in the club, pretty much. Yeah, I'd love the Gareth Bale deal to get through, but I don't think it will. But you know, you know, you know, well, I I think Tottenham could also. I I want to win the league. Um, I want Tottenham to win the league. But you know we we need solid, solid signs, uh, and I think we will. I th I don't think we'll leave it to the last minute again. I, I believe that we will do that. And moving on, having a Waterlooville let sign Matt Pavey from Dartford. Dart, he's top scorer of the league, just behind Jason Pryor of Haven, who has just left for Dorking in Ireland. So farewell, Jason. He's he's done well, but. But haven't as well. I think maybe we're aiming for a, just survival, but a promotion push would be great. See you later, guys.